hi guys welcome to my channel my name is katie and today i'm going to be sharing with you a very interesting perspective on how to start a business i started my business sometime last year in the middle of the pandemic it is a rental business and with it comes the balloon styling so i'm renting stuff and on the other side i'm doing balloon styling so if this is the adventure you would like uh, to do stay along and i'm gonna be sharing with you some tips on how to get started i am located in germany so for that some information i'm gonna use everything i'm gonna say i'm gonna let the link down below so you get uh, you can read it again and you can know how uh, it follows so to my first tip the first thing you need of course is passion i was so passionate about starting my business and that is what drew me to do it maybe i told myself it was the right time to start but here came the pandemic i don't really see it in the perspective that it was the wrong timing i just saw it as an opportunity to start slow i always tell myself i would have started the business sometimes uh, years ago probably i would have been overwhelmed with the customers or i would have been overwhelmed with the situation so with the pandemic for me it played a big role to tell myself that because the celebration are not as much as they're allowed to celebrate so i got a customer here i got a customer there and that's how i started the next thing i would like you to have is you will never have millions of money you will never have uh, a lot of money on the side to start a business so the small capital that you have you should invest on the basic things that you need to start the business the next thing is now that you have a passion you have the capital to start you need a plan you need to sit down and plan how your business is gonna look like you need to think about uh, the name you need to think about the flow you think you need to think about a gear short goal mid-term goal and a long-term goal on how you want to see yourself so planning is very important even though you have a passion you need to put that into perspective once you have the passion then you have the cup the small cabbage to start then you have a plan the next thing you need to do is i advise you to buy a start a start pack a starting pocket buy if it's a balloon machine if it's a blowing machine you need to buy if it's uh, uh some balloons you need to buy just start somewhere buy yourself a starting set so you're ready to start your business another thing you need to think about when you think of a business is obviously a name i found out on google you can resume your name out there or the business name out there you can do all the researches from instagram to facebook to google and figure out what you need to call yourself maybe a name you like maybe a name has a meaning maybe it's a name that represents you as a person or you as a brand but you need a branding name that of course you're gonna stand out from the others and the reason behind it should always remind you as to why you are doing it so you need a branding color and you need a branding theme it's representing you as a brand and representing you as a style another thing you need is now you have everything else including the plan the name the capital the starter set you need to go and register yourself in germany you do that in a city hall it's called the rat house and i don't know where else you are in the world but you need to register your business to become official to kind of prepare yourself for the first customer you will uh, you will get you'll already have officially have started your business once you register your business in germany it does take let's say a little while maybe a couple of days to one to two weeks for waiting for your branding name or for your company to come back originally written on your name I did take this time to write the sequence of the customers like the quotation how my quotation will look like like uh, an order the receipt how a thank you card is gonna look like basically all the those major details that you might need when you uh, acquire your first customer so the handover protocol uh, the quotation the receipt um, all the way until to the thank you card meanwhile I was waiting for my business brand or for the name to be given officially to me now you have the name you have the business you have everything else you had uh, planned about the next thing you need to do is really really major and it really does talk to you about why you begin anyway is marketing you need to have a strategy on how to market uh, your work of course you don't want to invest too much on marketing because you don't I found myself I didn't want to put myself so much out there because I didn't want to be overwhelmed with the customers you need to think positive so you need to figure out that if you're marketing yourself you have to imagine of people asking you questions of people um, it's okay for me when I have customers every weekend like 
the four customers in a month for me that um, is completely acceptable because I'm by myself so what you need to do is you have to market yourself you can market yourself on an uh, Instagram which includes uh, Facebook you can market yourself with a flyer it's a word of mouth to mouth in this case uh, you can tell your friend to tell a friend a family member to tell a family member you're gonna find yourself uh, having the fast customer so a ma good marketing strategy is very very important after you did all that the next thing I found really really crucial is a website I was in the beginning not so sure about starting a, a website or having a website in the end I was gonna do it anyway but I didn't understand how crucial it is to have it as your start package that's something I learned so if you can start you can have a website with your name on it and all the details because for today's world everybody has a phone with them or nearly everybody has a phone with them so if they hear about your brand or the you're marketing yourself out there it's just on, on the touch of their hands to just go ahead and scroll and to see all you're all about and last but not the least is book your first customer it doesn't matter who, however it's gonna come out it could be from your family circle it could be from your friend circle it could be from somebody you really don't know you found them on Instagram so acquire your first customer and that's really really major in starting your business and you know what it's, you don't have to be perfect you don't you learn as you go so your first customer one year into the business you're gonna look at your first customer and you're gonna go oh my god did I do that Probably because it will not be to the perfection that you have been. But you need a vision and you need to acquire that fast customer. Take a really good picture of it and it's really, really important to look behind and see from where you've come from. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. I'm going to be posting more content about a rental business and balloon styling. You'll be coming with me in some episodes on how I'm doing it from the beginning and the end. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please show me some love let a comment down below share this video follow me on instagram i go by the name nea party deco it's the event uh, company that i started go show me some love over there you can follow me and for the next time i'm going to be speaking about my starter set what i began with and where i bought them so until then i'll be the same